people from uh, G2 as they get some control with the David P just about to take a fight heads on. I think he's just passed straight past Cypher. Oh, that's a big problem. As Aslan opens up B, Cypher has made it completely unbeknownst to... Oh, I, I think he's just been spotted. I think David P just saw him. Ooh, it's going to come down to where they did just quite see each other. This is good, though, so far. The G2 boys are being slapped around. Piff comes through, unable to get the job done. Tero's fallen, but David P, he has to be oh so careful now. They started to push forwards. The rest of them up. He doesn't actually have the information on how many are there just yet. Gets rid of the recon dart straight away, and he now sees them. Can't get anything done, though. CNED ready and waiting for him. Patatek's able to find Kira, who's trying to push around. But the C site is secured. Spike's going to be planted. Aslan in a good spot. Mixor comes jumping through, though. Fast and furious. Looking for some more. He expects them to be trying to go aggressive at mid. David P on the rotate over, secures their back, knows that they're completely safe at this point, and as they start to look towards the site, they, oh, oh, Aslan, last bullet in the mag onto Mixwell, oh. and he gets another through the smoke, a double kill, and with that, BBL take a fourth. Mixwell holding strong. Well, Mixwell's being darted, it's pretty dangerous from that position, but luckily Palatek was there to just keep them back, right? No yeah. one could just swing on him. Oh, hardest position. Oh. He's spraying through that smoke. Starts wrecking the first two, but can't get the last. His weapon won't be picked up, though. That's at least the benefit now. As the rest of his teammates start to push round. Spike on the floor. It's only the Omen left. Now, Aslan's been able to pull off some crazy shots. Does get one, but he's very low on health. And that's not going to work out for him. Piff manages to catch. Yes, the Sage can slow it down. She can play solo site. But on something so open and so hard to grab intel as the A bomb site, I don't expect that to really be oh. where she plays. And as David P gets taken out, you see that that defense is practically non existent at this point. Kiro is so busy trying to deal with the <laughs> recon, he got shot in the back. What the hell was that? Artis has just walked in and taken a 3k for free. They know where the last player is. Paranoia through, but it's not even needed as Artis just cleans house. <laughs> that was the worst angle for him to have it at, though, to be fair to him, right? Yeah. If you write above him, he's like, normally it'd be like... Falls on the board in the first half. His next teammate has eighth, James. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Sometimes it's just the artist show, but right now it's the CNED and Lego show. Aslan's there as well. They've gone super aggressive on the pistol round, and G2 don't know what hit them. Mitch, I said to you, I want to see BBL throw some aggression. Well, that's exactly what they've done on the defensive side. One but they're walking into David P one by one. He has used his one heal, though. He's still got to slow up. 35 seconds, and his heal will come back, but he's already at 100 health. He's walked away with two kills. They do need to be careful. The Sage is still up, but their Sova is very low. He has to be able to get the spike at the same time. It's not impossible for David P to do, but what I would like to see him do right now is reload. Yes, with seven bullets and the fact that his opponents have probably grouped up into a three-man army, it is definitely the time to reload. He's going to start making a move in towards C Long to pick up that spike, conscious there could be a player around absolutely any corner. I and the, the key thing about BBL's approach is that they've got three players garage, right? So quick response to C or B, depending on where the spike is attempted to be planted, and a camera on A. And that's huge. And the camera only has to worry about short because of the tripwire. He's about to run right on into one. There's a free kill, barely any damage. No, no damage taken. And he thought he had to heal. And presumably, so I, I sort of like this uh, three-man stack towards the C site because you've got a, a Cypher. If they spot Cypher, They'll probably presume he's alone, mm. or possibly, maybe that's the kind of thing they're trying to sell. But in fact, he'd have a phantom backing him up and a player in garage. Right there, give it a frenzy. Close range, it could get a kill like that, but Mixwell too fast on the trigger. Get out of my way! Mixwell pushes through very aggressively. There uses the updrift. Paranoia through. That's going to blind pretty much all of them, Ooh. but not Patatek because he teleported just in time. I think he was, still was actually paranoid, but luckily he could see close to him. Oh, that's a whip and a half! But Caro, luckily, only... Losing this map is unlikely. We talked about their win percentage when it comes to attacking rounds. 90% when they start here out of five games. That wall again, a little bit too late. Already in there, Mixwell's ready to take a fight. 
It looks like they might be aware of that due to the spams, but it doesn't matter. Panatech and David P opening up these fights, leaving CNED on one health. And with time running down, still 50 on the clock. There's no pressure for G2. There's no issues whatsoever. Oh. Mixwell cut off guard still comes out on top, looking for a flawless final round until Panatech falls, but at least he gets, gets the info. Oh, oh Mixwell. Yeah, just put in the knife. Mitch, is the G2 are starting on the attacking side this time. We know how out of control this can get on ascent anyway. Let alone a G2 that's on fire after that last map. Yeah, this could definitely get a little bit crazy, if we're being honest. Uh, when you see G2 dictating the pace on an, any map where they like to already be a very aggressive team, it's going to be difficult to deal with. They've already pushed BBL back in towards a defensive position in the defensive spot. Now, initially, you're going to see that off the bat, the Omen is playing quite passive. He's low HP, so he's trying to flash in and smoke for his teammates. But unfortunately, not a whole lot is happening on the back of that, despite or except for more health being lost. The CNED goes down to one health. Patatech dealt with eventually, but so much damage has been done. Surely, it starts to go back towards G2 eventually, and it doesn't look like it, as they all end up falling with just one kill from Artis. Look at the HP remaining on the BBL players. I was completely counting them out because of that. Omen, Jet from NIP and Giants. They left mid open oh so often. Oh, Aslan's in a great spot here. It's not going to be checked. Panatech goes down. He was good for two. Artis does get the refrag, but it doesn't matter as Lego rips his head clean off. The door gets closed and once again, BBL just holding strong. They got these positions that G2 just aren't checking correctly. Now, this is impressive from BBL, from Aslan in particular. I mentioned him as a solid player. Oh, they've even spotted out oh, yet. Oh, oh, Goodbye, Mixwell. Out of my way. Now, when they've started on the defending side four times. Oh, no. This can be bad, isn't it? 100% of rounds. I Ooh. know exactly. Damn. According to this, 12 zeros. That's, that's not true. There's an 11 1. So I'm, I'm not. The, the stat is, is skewed. <laughs> you can't trust the stat you read. I was like, I that seems weird. <laughs> I don't remember four twelve zeros. I also remember that really bad game they had at We Play, where it was like their defensive side. They had like two rounds, and they still somehow won when they came back. Yeah. Well, I mean, they've in fairness, they've won what forty out of forty-eight, basically. So still pretty strong. Pretty strong. Pretty damn know. strong. Yeah. Had to quickly do all the adding. I think it was thirty-nine. But anyways, it's fine. They're just going on the hunt now. I respect it from G2, but you want to be a bit careful. Kiro is actually close. Is the site empty? There's no one in the site. He won't be able to get it, though. This is no problem. Oh. No. No way he gets away with that. The old pop. He can Luckily. survive that long enough, I think. So, Lucky someone peeked around to take care of him. You had to pop. Not going back towards A as much. G2 feel like they found the weakness within the B site straight away. They're so fast. Unmatched aggression right now, and this is the G2 we know and love. This is what we're used to seeing. <laughs> Kiro may have been able to sneak in, but that's not going to be enough. No problem for the spike to go down. And the fourth round, the vital fourth round that you mentioned, Mitch, looks to be had here by G2. Yeah, I think that's plain as day at this point. It should be their round unless all of a sudden a frenzy is going to become the best gun in the game. Sheriff retrieved by Lego, but a 1v3 is going to commit the drone to it. Spots one there, gets the drone onto him. Out goes the shock dart, but the push is too strong. Yeah, he had a so that comes. They were the favorites in this. They need to hold on to it. David P, though. Ghost in hand. He'll get himself two kills. Easy peasy. Might Look be Lemon this. Squeezy as he gets the third. Finally, Ross able to shut him down. But Ardis is just there tapping away. Only good for one, though. But Kiro all alone. Spike in hand. 1v2. Will you be the clutch master? Trying to back away, you're heavily tagged up. Caution in the wind, Kiro. Doesn't actually have all the information. Spike's gonna go down, which is at least beneficial for the creds. Oh, location reveal, that's not gonna be ideal. You swarm from both sides, and finally they lose a pistol. Out of four pistols, they won three. Pretty good stats for them. But it's just huge that you can get that pistol then into the second round normally pretty convincingly. So it's quite a... Oh, the line up and then you can spray like that. Hardest just taking down two. Mixwell on another spike down. 
And that's a disaster. Oh, even the paranoia, but somehow CNET makes it out of there. How many lineups have we seen today? Mistakes continue to be made. And they're greatly punished. That is less than ideal. Kiro now just hoping him and CNET can back away and find any opportunity. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> he does still get it onto Mixwell, who tried to dash away as fast as he could. What? Uh, that cage just bounced off the stairs casually. <laughs> I've not seen that one before. Oh, if Kira goes up high, he could be seen, though. This is the problem. Trying to make Kira's his way cool. around. You will not kill He's not got much health. David P gets the revive onto Mixwell, though. Pip, he seals the deal. He saves the day. One round is all G2 need, and it could be... 13-9 in their favor. Piff starts off strong. Cena's oh. trying to bounce away, but it's not going to happen. Headshots are landed. G2 looking for the clean sweep, looking to dominate as we expected. Can BBL turn this around, though? It's a 3v5. It's not impossible. Piff's just been healed up. He ran back to the Sage to get himself a little bit of protection. They're ensuring they make no mistakes here. Camera gone up as well. He's going to do a good check around. Instantly taken out, which is going to give them the information. Lego's going to be spotted out as well. Doesn't matter what's happening. They're just going to push him. The aggression from G2 is in full force. Mixwell. He hasn't had the greatest of games or the greatest of series, but it doesn't really matter. The rest oh. of his team's doing it, but he gets a kill through the cage. Why the hell not? He's going to continue to try and land shots. There's only one player left alive. It's the Omen, and G2 are fully in control. Patatek looking to come from behind and take Aslan down, but it's not even needed. Piff gets...